Dear students, welcome to our science episodes. Today, our first episode, we will discuss Unit 1, Lesson 1, Chemical Reaction. Chemical Reactions What is chemical reaction? Look at this picture. This is an experiment between baking soda and vinegar. And we are going to use a balloon as a detector. So, in step number one, we will add to this funnel or flask baking soda. In step number two, we will add to the baking soda vinegar, which is acetic acid. In step number three, we are getting the balloon and fix it to the nozzle of the funnel or the flask. A chemical reaction will happen between the vinegar and the baking soda. They will interact together, forming a gas called carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide gas will leave the funnel and inflate the balloon. This is simply a chemical reaction. So what's a chemical reaction? A chemical reaction happened between the baking soda and the vinegar, two ingredients forming a new product which is the carbon dioxide gas. The balloon is only an indicator. It detects the presence of the carbon dioxide gas. So we can define chemical reaction as the breaking up of bonds in molecules of the reactants and formation of new bonds in the molecules of the product or the resultant. Look at this picture. At the left, there are elements. These elements either bonded together, forming compounds, or they are alone. These are called the reactants. So before the arrow, the elements or the compounds are called reactants. After the arrow, the elements or the compounds are called products or resultants. We have three types of chemical reactions. Thermal decomposition reaction, substitution reaction, and the last is oxidation and reduction reaction. Now we will discuss the first type of chemical reaction, which is thermal decomposition reaction. The word thermal means heat, and the word decomposition means breaking up. So we are breaking up something with the use of heat. A reaction where a more complex molecule breaks down to form two or more simpler products using heat. Look at this equation. Before the arrow, we agree that these are the reactants. This compound is formed of two elements, E and F. They are bonded together in one compound. This is the reactant. And this reactant will be decomposed by heat. Whenever you find this triangle, it means heat. Into two products, E and F, but separated products. We separated them. We break down the bond between the two elements. So this means that thermal decomposition Reactions involves reactions using heat to break up compounds or reactants into products. Now we will discuss the thermal decomposition of metal oxides. Mercury oxide is an example of metal oxide. By heat, we can separate mercury oxide or decompose or break down mercury oxide into mercury and oxygen gas. Mercury oxide is red and when it will decompose by heat it will change into mercury and it will leave silvery precipitate on the test tube whereas the oxygen will leave the tube as a gas. If we want to decompose metal hydroxide by heat, 
we will use copper hydroxide as an example. This is copper hydroxide and this is its symbol. Kindly notice that this equation is balanced. Each and every equation should be balanced. And this means that every element if you count the, uh, the number of the elements on the left side, it has to be the same number of elements on the, on the right side. So if we will count together, one copper, one copper, two oxygen, one, two oxygen, two hydrogen, two hydrogen. So this equation is balanced. You can check the balance of every equation you will encounter in this curriculum. Returning back to thermal decomposition of metal hydroxide, this is copper hydroxide, and we will break it down into copper oxide and water. Copper hydroxide is blue in color, and when it will decompose by heat, it will give copper oxide, which is black. As you can see here in this picture, copper hydroxide, blue copper hydroxide in this tube, by heating, it will turn into black copper oxide and water. Now, thermal decomposition of metal carbonates. And copper carbonate is the best example of metal carbonates, where it can be decomposed, giving copper oxide and carbon dioxide gas. The green copper carbonate will decompose by heat and giving black copper oxide and the carbon dioxide gas will evolve. As you can see here, this is a tested tube containing green copper carbonate and we will heat it, bringing copper oxide, black copper oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Can you see that we use heat in all of our thermal decomposition reactions? Do you notice that we have a compound with different elements bonded together and by heat we decompose or break them into different products? So this is copper sulfate, an example of metal sulfates. And by heat, it will break down into copper oxide and sulfur trioxide, which is a gas. The blue copper sulfate will turn into black copper oxide, as you can see here. Metal nitrates. Metal nitrates also can decompose by heat and give different products. So sodium nitrate is a very good example and it will be broken down by heat into sodium nitrite and oxygen gas. Sodium nitrate is white. By heat, it will break down into sodium nitrite, yellowish in color, and oxygen gas. If you can see here, we can balance, check the balance of this equation together. We will count the left side and the right side, and we will check the total number together. Here you can see two sodium, two sodium on the right side too, two nitrogen molecules and here two nitrogen molecules too. The oxygen here is two times three equals six and here two times two equals four plus two oxygen six. So this is a balanced equation. Did you ever hear about airbags in cars? An airbag is considered one of the most important safety tool in cars. It protects people when an accident happens. This is a picture or a diagram representing the airbag. You can find here a crash sensor which will sense a crash or a car accident 
it will give an electric spark to the front area and this electric spark will result in a chemical reaction this is the chemical reaction which will which will happen here sodium azide by the electric spark will turn into sodium and nitrogen gas will evolve this nitrogen gas will inflate the airbag causing it to increase in size and protect people against accidents so inside airbag there is chemistry inside airbag there is a chemical reaction and this chemical reaction is thermal decomposition where a compound will produce two different products dear students time for questions question number one illustrate by balanced chemical equations the following reactions the effect of heat on red mercury oxide yes this is mercury oxide this is the arrow and this is the triangle symbol for heat when, mer when mercury oxide will be broken down it will give mercury and oxygen gas can you notice that this equation is balanced two mercury molecules and two mercury molecules two oxygen molecules and here two oxygen molecules whenever you see this arrow this arrow pointing to the top this means gas evolving the effect of heat on carbon on copper carbonate so you have to illustrate by balanced chemical equation the effect of heat on copper carbonate again this is the symbol for copper carbonate the arrow and the triangle symbol for heat when copper carbonate will decompose it will give copper oxide and copper uh, and sorry carbon dioxide gas check the balance together one copper molecule one copper molecule one carbon molecule one carbon molecule three oxygen molecules and here one two three and this arrow pointing to the top means that carbon dioxide is a gas and it will leave the reaction when happened dear students thank you for watching and waiting for you in the coming science episodes bye